Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video of Apes and Games here. Playing a little bit of Diablo 4, and I just want to talk a little bit today about where we're going with this game and the content that you can hope to see moving forward and discussing uh, a little bit about my build and sort of my plans and stuff like that. Do that indeed interest you, stay tuned to the end to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Um, essentially, we've decided to come back to Diablo for this season. We did initially, but wasn't the biggest fan um, of what was going on uh, this season, mechanics and whatnot. I'm still not overly thrilled with this season, but nevertheless, it is what it is. So my current build that I'm rolling out with is we're kind of doing sort of a melee rogue that's working off invigorating strikes. Flurry's my main damaging ability with the argument that makes it a 360. Um, or the aspect that makes it a 360 hitting ability as opposed to just hitting in front. Crowd controlled and vulnerable mem uh, enemies, I get healed for a percentage of my health and stuff, which is quite good. Uh, we're also using the caltrops, but I'm also using an aspect which freezes the enemies in place. It has a chance to freeze them and make them vulnerable. Same with my poison trap. It also has a chance to apply like a frost mechanic. We then put the shadow imbuement on our weapon, which then applies on flurry in an AOE effect uh, and has a chance to make the enemies explode. Ergo, they all explode everywhere and it's a great mess. Uh, Shadow Clone, we can also double up that effect with another version of ourselves, which we're also augmenting with aspects to make it do more damage. And so far, we're taking the victimized passive, which also has another chance to cause an explosion uh, to vulnerable people. And it also vulnerable enemies people. I don't know why I said that. Um, and it's got a current damage increase. So, so far this season, we've made it to level 48. We've got our Shinencio Spider here. I'm going to be brutally honest. We've not really baffed around with it too much or looked into sort of builds for it. I've stuck a few items on it and we're leveling it up here and there. I am going to look more into what I need to do with this um, seasonal mechanic later on uh possibly in a future video where i'll discuss how you use it and how you level up and stuff because i'll be brutally honest i don't really know myself um it's something that i'm still figuring out so i've just been spending a little bit of time over the past couple of days we're just going around and doing every single dungeon for a couple of reasons one we want the xp all right it's very important we all love a bit of xp don't we we all want that xp in our lives and for anyone that's pretty new to Seasons, uh, I would recommend, number one, unlocking all your baseline passives and doing all the dungeons, okay? Do your class-specific quests. And then another great thing you can do is just follow the seasonal journey. Um, just do what it says on each seasonal uh, sort of chapter. You follow that, you should be able to get sort of to the end game. And then sort of fine tune everything on where you want it and where you're going to go. So this is currently where I'm up to. I've had a few people ask me sort of what I'm doing with Diablo. Am I going to be doing more content on it? You know, do I like it? And stuff like that. And yeah, I do, I do kind of enjoy the game. I mean, I won't lie. It's not perfect. It's had a few problems. But on the whole, yeah, I do enjoy relaxing on this game. Especially after a day of making videos or whatever I may be doing. I do enjoy it quite a lot. And with the stuff that's coming on the PTR, I do want to kind of stay relevant on the game. I am going to be doing update videos. I may be doing live streams. I did do a live stream. It didn't didn't do overly well, uh, to be honest with you. Maybe that's something that's going to get stronger with time when I get more subscribers. And uh, we are very close to 500 subs at the moment. So if you have enjoyed today's content or any of my other content you may have seen, Please feel free to subscribe and ring the post notification bell. 
I have just noticed that our flurry passive is not currently on. So we are just going to have to rectify that before we do this dungeon. It's kind of the bread and butter to everything that we're doing. Without that passive, this build kind of doesn't work. Um, so we're going to have a look at our codex of power. And flurry damaged enemies in a circle around you. 15% increased damage. We can apply this to these items here. Distant enemies have a 10% chance to be stunned. I mean, that's just useless to us. So we'll just get that imprinted there. We'll also see if there's any more that are good that we could use. Uh, breaking concealment, marksman skills. No good, no good, no good. Uh, let's check out the defensive ones. I usually put the one on that gives us a barrier. Uh, but we haven't unlocked that currently. Now, full disclaimer, I am by no means a Diablo professional. I just play for fun and uh, test my limits where I can. And I just like to fill things out, discover things. So take everything I say with a pinch of salt. I'm not the greatest player, um, but I am going to obviously still instill what knowledge I may or may not have on my viewers because... You know, you may be even newer than I am to the title. And knowledge is power, as they say. So, here we go. As you can see, the flurry explosions there. Very nice. We'll activate again. And all the enemies just sort of explode on one another. And this is kind of, sort of the core mechanic that I've been building towards. And I've just sort of made this up myself. It's not like a professional build or anything. But it is quite fun to play. I was playing a ranged rogue and I didn't really have a terrible amount of success with it. To me, the rogue is a little bit underpowered. Um, late game, I'm not entirely sure. It might be amazing. But I do find they are very squishy class. And you kind of have to dance around the enemy and be quite strategic and use your cooldowns effectively. They're nowhere near as forgiving as, say, the warrior or maybe a thunder druid or these loads of different selves. I do feel the rogue could do with a little bit of love, especially in the durability department. I can't seem to stop playing the rogue, though, because I was a demon hunter main in the last game and I am looking for something to fill that void. But sadly, there's not really been much in the game thus far. To replicate the feels that I had playing the Demon Hunter. Nice big AOE explosion there. So, yeah. So, a couple of updates just before we go today on the channel. I've actually kind of resolved the audio dropping issues and the sort of gritty mic, so to speak. I mean, a lot of people have still said the mic quality was quite good. Um... But I am using a blue Logitech blue sonar microphone. And it was very, very dark, very gritty. I mean, it's still a very dark sounding mic, don't get me wrong. But it turns out the XLR cables that I were using were actually Chinese knockoffs uh, that I bought from Amazon. And uh, I bought an official Elgato XLR cable. And it, the audio difference is night and day. It really has uh, cleaned up the audio. I also replaced the USB cable that I also, funnily enough, got off Amazon. And touch wood, so far, the audio quality and the editing of the audio has been night and day different. Very easy uh, to sort of correct the errors in the audio files and whatnot. I've also been branching out. I've done a bit of, uh, like, sort of first plays, let's plays, try out videos. I'm trying a lot of different things on the channel. Uh, and I would love a bit of feedback on that. If you actually catch any of that content. Just to sort of see how I can expand the channel. And expand what I'm doing here on YouTube. As I am really keen to do well on here. And I'm trying to hit that first milestone of 500 subs. As soon as humanly possible. But obviously with that. It's only going to come if the quality of the content is there. Also, 
So that's a little bit of an update to sort of what I'm doing with the channel and what I'm doing with my character. I may do another live stream of me just leveling up where I could just sit back, chill. If any of you want to drop in and have a chat with me, you know, feel free to do so. Maybe we can discuss where I can go uh, moving forward with the channel. Stuff like that. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, if you have, drop us a comment, thumbs up, like, sub, all that good stuff. You know the score. And I'll see you guys in the next video.